Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Hey. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. The best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Bitch, the cold leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But T.S. makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Yeah, I miss R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. G you know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Light gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. for norm. I don't care whatever happens to Candace. Bless her heart. The premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the f*** along because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black mother because you black mother don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round away girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender their sexual preferences. I what? just want to know where you found this wig at. Don't you do this to me. We're both sitting up here looking like women with shortcuts, so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off. We are still having some technical issues. Yeah, technical issues. 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 We're not going to disrespect her, but we're going to read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. Yeah. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all are right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. It's morning and we slept the night away. <laughs> Shout out at the sun, I want to say. It's Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. Make some noise for Bring Back My Girl Season 2! back and we are bigger than ever who was the real villain now that's a setup 
I am reunited with the queens from your favorite seasons of Drag Race. How did you feel when the judges called you out for breaking the rules? <laughs> with behind the scenes tea you've never heard before. She had a pretty shitty attitude too. There's no punchline, it's just truth, bitch. Super fans and super queens face to face. Oh my God. Yes! Oh my God. Oh my God. When they watch you guys, seeing how beautiful you guys were, seeing how it made me feel confident. You never know what will happen next. Wait a minute. This bitch right here introduced the trans experience to pop culture. Oh! Do y'all think Fierce Delicious was third or fourth? Ah! I saved your channel. Saved it. Hey, okay, why do you love to lie so much? If I can't speak, what's the point? You little bitch. Oh! Security! Security! Coming soon, only on Wild Presents Plus. Oh, shit! Yes, I was trying to oh, tell shit! I was trying to tell you. Are you telling me to stop? Yes! Oh, my God, Mo, what happened? Make it big, but I can oh, see. Oh, my fault, my fault. I'm not going to my Rick James, but I'm going to pull it all out. <laughs> I'm trying to eat. Some of my chin. That's usually what happens when it gets on my chin. Oh, really? That's what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Never had so much. Listen, y'all, because you know we talking about Puff Daddy today, right? So <laughs> in retrospect, I was talking about getting ready to talk about Puff Daddy today. Oh, put it on the, the, the Facebook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. I got to handle this real quick, Mo. Really, man. No, I was trying to handle this before the show. It just wasn't going. Down. It wasn't going down fast enough. <laughs> it wasn't going down fast enough. You know why I wasn't going down fast enough? Because it's a potato. Oh yeah, you know potatoes are, are real thick. It's just thick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I handled mom before. Baby, my mama up in there. My mama got this house smelling like Thanksgiving. <laughs> So, I mean, everything outside of Thanksgiving food. Oh, so that's what you're doing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I can have my mouth flavored and ready for um for the Thanksgiving. So I had got me a stuffed potato. Mm -hmm. I had got us potatoes. Did you enjoy your potato, Mo? Oh, yeah. I handled mine. I handled mine. Mm. Mm -mm. My God, today! But see, well, did you, did you sound like it's you enjoying? Did you eat your baked beans? Oh, I ate everything. Man. This, I this ate. how you supposed to do it? Eat your baked beans, Mo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I like to get the baked beans on the side. Oh, so you eat it together? And then, but I pour it on top of the potato. Oh, you see, I didn't do that. Well, when I when you get a when you get a fat girl in your life, <laughs> let her teach you how to live comfortably. You mean eat comfortably? Live. <laughs> you hoes to be over there straining, trying to get in the bikini, because <laughs> you want some nigga that's a trash ass nigga to look at you and not enjoying your potato. God gonna punish you. <laughs> He gonna punish you with a fat bitch that's really? gonna be fucking your husband. Really, Maddie? Yes. Yeah, Lord. All y'all hoes that make those fat jokes, your kids gonna be obese. That sounds like a curse. It might be. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but I guarantee you, I'm gonna finish this potato before I start the show. Oh my goodness. Mm. My God. Today. And not no other. <laughs> that was good. Damn. See what I did with my mom, see? Uh-huh. You was hungry. You couldn't wait. What did you do with yours? I drizzled mine. 
with uh barbecue sauce. I did that. I drizzled it with sriracha. Oh, you see, I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Barbecue sauce, sriracha. I put my baked beans in there and had some on the side. You feel me? Mo, let me let me help you. <laughs> Baby, you should let me love you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -mm. I'm telling y'all, the goodness of the Lord is wrapped up in a plate. That's what Amen. people don't really understand how good God is. You know how good God is by the way food tastes to you. <laughs> That's how you know? That's how you know. Because if you can taste his succulents and his his his, his ever omnipresence, omnipotent presence in a biscuit, uh -huh. you connected with God. Oh, oh, okay. You connected with God. You say, well, to me, that in my throat. I ate it, ate it. <laughs> it's handled. <laughs> now, I was hesitant on eating this macaronia. The what? Macaronia. Oh, okay. Because we having that this week. And I was hesitant. But see, I'm going to taste these people's macaroni because I need to know what eyes don't need to taste like. You know what I'm saying? Because this cute. This cute. Okay, it's better than what you expected. This cute. <laughs> this cute, Mo. I'm not going to lie to you. This cute. Okay. It's cute. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It ain't what we're going to eat this week. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's cute. <laughs> it ain't what we eating. <laughs> Thirsty, but it's cute. Oh, I'm dropping my menu tonight for all you, for all of y'all that waits on my menu every year, because you know every year I drops my menu. Tonight I'm dropping my menu on what we having for Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Mm hmm I hand write my menu out. <laughs> I hand write my menu. It's handwritten by the TS. And I post it. Oh, for the for, for, for everybody to know. This is what we're having. <laughs> I don't know what you're having. But we're having this. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's cute. In other words, it could be better. It's cute, Mom. Oh, you okay? What is the macaroni now? Oh, I thought so. No, my friend. You know you always the light and shine on the black knight. The black knight. Thank you, Mo, for being the black knight. <laughs> Mo, is we tight? Something done happened to the camera. Well, you know your your maids came. Yeah, the maids did come today. We having a we having a, a celebration. <laughs> we having a celebration. They went and moved things around. Yeah, turn, ooh. Ooh. I can feel I can feel how you turn it slow. Mm -hmm. That's better. Yeah. You don't feel it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to be connected. We friends. Of course. Okay, well, you should have felt it did. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on, honey? Is it on? Is this thing recording? Well, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Ground the Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one uh, of my bitches, Chorus Chun, Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison. I'm coming to you live, live, and always and forever from the Maddie and the whatever time of day we get up and call it the Maddie in the Morning Show Show. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all know we don't come here. We, we wait a minute. That's my something. Ain't no sound. What's going on here? Hey, this sound. what? Your hat? Hey, y'all can't hear us. Well, you gonna have to go out and come back in. Hey, y'all yeah. can't hear us. Hey, hi, hey. hi, hey, hey. block them. They tell me there ain't no sound. Block them. <laughs> y'all want to play the games? Y'all want to play? Block them. 
You go ahead and you play those games if you want to. Blah. Okay, you say, how do you check the status of the perfume order? I am going to be on. I actually today have a meeting with Metra because I'm trying to roll out something special for y'all um, that, that have bought it, that are enjoying it. Like I'm trying to get another a second rollout of some stuff like, uh, you know, some other things I want to put in there. But I want to talk about. Today's show is proudly sponsored by... Why is it glitching? Mo, go over there and see it close some applications and stuff in the back. What's going on here? I see the bitch glitching now. I do see that. What is going on? Pull that stuff up and close out them applications that's running in the background. It's that, it's that motherfucking thing where we be trying to uh, transform those computers. I mean, those pictures. If they see them background processes closed, there. look at it. Close, close it. It's just acting up, acting crazy. The fuck is we glitching for? Her? My cable bill is paid. <laughs> what is that? Movies and TVs in the background. Oh, that's oh. What about Google Chrome? It said fifteen Google Chromes open. Fifteen. Close them. There's only one. It say fifteen. Something going on back there. Yeah. But all that stuff got to go. He and Tad. Do that because I don't want to exit out of here. I don't know which one is which. Hold on, but I'm going to try now. Now, if we close out, they don't, we'll be back. Okay, okay. Let me just do this. Let me just do this then. He and Tad. Yeah. Told y'all we was gonna be back if we end, if we end the tag. <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't know what the fuck was going on over there. Mm -hmm. All that shit running around in the background. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Take me down. There we go. Is oh, everybody sound? was saying YouTube is fine. Do we understand? Can y'all hear? Can y'all hear? Y'all here? Is everything okay? Is everything all right? Okay? We good? Cause the bitch was glitching. I saw me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a little tick, tick, tick fight. <laughs> a tick, 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 tick fight. I saw a little bit of that going on. But bitch, so let's get the let's get the let's get to talking about. First of all, before we get to talking about, y'all already know that the show is proudly sponsored by the Veil of Venus by Skin Potion. I'm about to rub something on my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all got y'all packet from Skin Potion, the Veil of Venus? This is what's going on right now. Skin Potion, the Veil of Venus. Rocket number nine. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, ooh, Venus. The Veil of <laughs> Venus is going on right here. <laughs> and so, you know, if you want to smell like me, Mo, make it out. Make, bring it out. Yeah. It's so, I don't understand. Are you ready to bring it out, son? Yeah, and then put it back. Pull it out and put it back, Mo. Please. I, I mean everything. Everything. Come on out, baby. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Oh, that's too far out. I don't feel nothing no more. <laughs> I'll cut. That's, that's too far. That's too 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 deep. Okay. Right, a little bit more. Okay. I need to look at it. <laughs> right. Okay. The veil of Venus right here. Okay. Um, so I'm about to put some of this on my knuckles. Now I know I've seen a couple y'all in uh let me take this watch out for they've been seeing some teeth fly across my phone. <laughs> they know that the mob is nosy and, and screenshot and screenshot. I gotta take that <laughs> off my arm. <laughs> T-bone, you wanna play? T-bone, you wanna play? We're gonna let you go now. Right. Now, see, I'm putting some of this veil. You see how buttery. It's the pretty brown, brown, driving me wild. Ooh, child, things are going to get a little greasier. <laughs> Ooh, you know, I'm putting this on my elbows and things. 
putting that on. Damn, this shit smell good, Mo. And you got nasal decongestion problems over there. <laughs> Man, you can smell this. I can't. I can't. Damn, this shit smell good. That just means it's strong. I know it ain't strong. It's it, it that means it can penetrate. You want <laughs> that means it can penetrate. Please visit www.shopskinpotion.com <laughs> to get your veil of Venus. You said they forever sold out. Shit, they just like us. You got to get in on the pre-order. That's true. You got to get in on the pre-order. First of all, their packaging is immaculate. And that's another thing I'm talking to Mithra about today, about my packaging. But that's what we'll talk about that. But this is, uh, this is how it comes when you order the box like this. So, bitch. Then, give me this, Mo. Oh, oh. You have the cook cookie butter. I got the cookie butter too, Mo Better 26. I got it too. It smells so good. Then, boy, your fingers are so long. <laughs> I couldn't get it out your hand. <laughs> really? For all of y'all that has got y'all perfume from me, it's, we, it's a lot of light in here, so it's kind of wash. For all of y'all that got y'all perfume from me, y'all everything perfume from me, and it comes in the bottle like this, thank you, please. We are all, we're back to doing pre-orders again. Oh, shit. Let me spray some more of this on me with that. This with that, mm. no, I love this. Mo, I love. I, let me tell y'all something. The bottle may not be everything, but bitch, the smell is everything. If y'all already got this and you already know, the bottle may not be everything, but bitch, mm -mm -mm. my God, today I'm gonna get it up. <laughs> I ain't been getting it up lately because I've been busy. But I'm gonna get it up, and I'm gonna get up. Um, and you know what's gonna get it up? What? Everything. <laughs> Everything gonna get it up. Yeah. All right. Let me put my method over there. I'll be talking with method today. So, so uh, Shelby, you got your. You say the. You say the smell is everything, right? So those who of you who got it. know how good the shit smell uh, i saw a guy uh durant did a review on it and i was kind of nervous i was like lord because they they doing their youtube reviews you know they doing their thing on the fragrance i was like lord let me see what they say because i know they ain't gonna be able to read the smell because the smell is listen now I, I i have had my conversations and i'm having more conversations about the packaging you know but the smell is it's it's oh i didn't even know it was gonna do that Mm -hmm. mm. That's that's a thick uh lipstick red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna come out with a lipstick called Everything. Ooh. Yeah, everything lipstick. <clears throat> uh okay, so Bati Boy, you say y'all supposed to be here to y'all supposed to be there tomorrow. Okay, good. Let me know. Please do reviews on it, whether you like it or you don't, it's okay. You know, I mean everything ain't for everybody, but it got this. It got this whole room lots of smoke smelt lard up in here. This, cause see, and the reason why I promote my everything and skin potion together because I wear not suck my tears, bass in Tulsa. I wear both of them, and I think that it, it, I think that when I put on the the creams and stuff from um, uh, uh, skin potion, that it in, it intensifies. You don't know the power of the dark side. It intensifies the flavor. It's kind of like adding, like, you know how you make a sweet potato pie and you add nutmeg and you add cinnamon and then you put the sugar, brown sugar, white sugar. This mixed with that stuff I wear every day is kind of like the little lemon zest because you know you're supposed to put a little lemon zest in your sweet potato pie. You didn't. Do you put lemon zest in your sweet potato pie, Mo? I never made sweet potato. Pie. Oh, you never made sweet potato pie. Never made do they make? Do they have sweet potatoes in Nigeria? Do they have sweet potatoes in that? Do they grow sweet potatoes in Nigeria? Honestly, Maddie, I don't know. You don't. I don't know. Okay, no wrong. It's okay to you for you not to know it. You can't know everything, Mo, about your country. <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot about shit. There's a lot of shit about America that I don't know nothing about. <laughs> It's a lot of shit in America I don't know nothing about. You know? Hey, Lissandra. All right. So, just recently, 
well, day before yesterday, I was in Philly. I received an award. I'm going to post my speech. My speech. I'd like to give a very big shout out to the city of Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you guys. Thank you for the Attic Youth Center. I received the 2023. Um, let me read it because I was trying to read it through the glare. The 2023 OK to be you role model award. 2023 OK to be you role model award. And, you know, it was amazing. I really looked good. The pictures was posted on there. It was such, it was so amazing, amazing. It was very amazing. The city of Philadelphia treated me ex exceptionally amazing. Shouts out to the Four Seasons Hotel. I was, we were like 60,000 feet up in the air. I was like, God, this is high. This is high to the plane. We were so high up in the sky. I thought we was Bobby Brown. <laughs> we were so high in the sky. We should have caught that flow, Bobby and Whitney, bitch. <laughs> that is the that's how high we was up in that hotel room down there at the Four Seasons in um, Philadelphia, uh, PA. I had a really good time. I was there for two days. Y'all know I get quiet and I be uh, I be chilling and shit like shit like that. You know, I'm moving into space now. Well, I don't be doing all of the things, you know, I be trying to behave and, and not get into altercations, even though they're going to come, even though they're going to come, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do better. Y'all told me to be like Beyonce about it, but listen, I ain't got Beyonce money. I, I, you know, I, she can, she can hush and, and do that other stuff. I can't, I got to read, but I'm going, I'm, I'm trying to get better this, this year. My year started in my birthday. Thank you guys for the congratulations. I thank you so very much. Again, we are constantly constantly over being sold out on the metro i got a meeting with metro so i'll be getting off of here at four o'clock exactly today because i have a i have a meeting with metro at four so i'll be getting off of there hey Bijan, i love you um i get i get i'm gonna be off of here at four so we got an exactly one hour until my meeting start so and and to not take What's going on, Mo? I don't know. I'm with you. You are? Yeah. Well, if you was with me, then you'd be here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'll be posting my acceptance speech today uh, after the show. Now, speaking of show, let me get, I got to get all this shit out of the way before we start gossiping, girl. Okay. Let us talk about you guys having y'all seats and shit together. For the Maddie in the Morning show that is going to be December 13, 2023 at 8 o'clock p.m. in Atlanta. Yes. In Atlanta. Please have your tickets. Have your tickets. You know what I'm saying? We almost done. I'm not going to keep running this stuff back down to you. I put it over there on the broadcast channel when we be talking to broad. I'm not going to keep running this stuff down there to you. Get your tickets. For those of you who haven't had, who don't have everything, I'm not going to give you a bottle of everything. <laughs> there are going to be small samples for the VIP guests, for the people that have got the meet and greet, the meet and greet people because I need to smell you. You know? I need to, you know, I need to smell you so, you know. Get your get your ticket so that we can have a good ass motherfucking time. We gonna we gotta we have a fabulous show uh line up for you. Mo, is it hot in here? It is hot It's it's warm. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yes, it just it's just those sleigh bells that are ringing. <laughs> and every time I think about Christmas, you know, I always, all the time. Hold on, guys, I'm trying to get it together. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it together. It's gonna take. It's gonna get me a second. I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to get it together. Here we go. Yeah. Just trying to get it together. How do I? Don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want 
you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. This is my favorite part. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas. <laughs> there is just one thing I need. Don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I don't need to hang my stocking there upon the fireplace. Santa Claus will make me happy. With the toy on Christmas Day, I just want you for my home more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you, you, <laughs> baby. Oh, I won't ask for much this Christmas. I won't even wish for snow. Yes. Yes. Underneath the mistletoe, and I will make a list and send it to the Lord for sending. Yes. I'll even stay awake to hear those magic reindeer play. Yes. I just want you here tonight. <laughs> Only want to miss the time. What more can I do? Oh, baby, all I want for Christmas is you. know something oh. even listening and seeing that <laughs> Mariah is still in my top 10 category of girls that could <sighs> that could sing oh. even even with all of that <laughs> you Even in my top 10, I mean, even in my, she, she's my top 10. She's my top 10. She's my top 
Yeah. Aaron, you said top, top two. Top two, but not number two. Oh, no, baby. She's If we're going to do that, she's top four, and she's not one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Why are you such a mess? No, I'm just being honest. I, I know people think that I don't live for Mariah. I know people think, but I do. Because I will tell you this, and I say this with, with the deepest fragments in my chest. Okay, with the deepest fragments of things in my chest. What's that girl name? Cool. Which one? Ariana Grande. Oh, okay. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. And I like Ariana Grande. But bitch, please. You give me a Mariah or Ariana Grande, bitch, please. We need we need Ariana to, to get the to, to park it on the dance floor. Bitch, please. <laughs> Bitch, please. I ain't even finna sit up here and hold you. I'm dishonest. I'm dishonest. We'll do my top four at the show. <laughs> ain't gonna get her because we'll be a. We'll do my top top. What you call it at the show? At the show, you said that was four years ago. That that was seven years old. And baby, listen, I've seen the one the video they've been playing for her lately, and they all been the lip. She's been the lip sync assassin. Those girls can't light a motherfucking candle to Mariah Carey. They can't light a candle to that woman, bitch. They said, "What about Kim Burrell?" <laughs> 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 Ooh, oh. my God. So we know <laughs> we know that she was having a fat rabbit killer moment. <laughs> well, why do you keep removing my picture? Why do you keep removing my you picture? You just want that to stay up there for the whole show. <laughs> you want that to stay up there for the whole show, Maddie. You know we bring that as an asset to the show. Don't don't play with me. So I'm gonna have to down. Somebody resend me this picture. Send it to Mo Earbop because that's gonna be one of the uh, the, the uh, assets that we play at the show. Oh. Bitch. Oh my god. All right, let's jump right into it. All righty. Cassie and Diddy. Bitch, when I tell you Diddy ran down there to the motherfucking bank, had them lawyers ran over there to the bank because he was over there. He was scared that he was going to have to call face over there saying, Harry Ruvante, Harry Ruvante, from the time I pray, every time I say I'll be missing you, you Let me tell y'all something. Oh, it, I don't believe it's over because I seen that psychic lady did a reading. And, yes, it was a psychic lady that did a reading on that shit, and uh, Kim. She said Kim Porter was in the room with her. Miss mm -hmm. Mama said that Kim Porter was in the room with her, and Kim Porter told her by motherfucking November of 2023, the table was going to be shooken. And I said, hmm. That was five months ago. I see all the girls from, um, I'm just watching because I ain't got a dog in the fight at all. I seen the girls from, what's that shit called, Mo? Danity Kane. Danity Kane. I seen them girls, that girl Aubrey. I seen her chopping it up. Mm -hmm. I seen motherfucking, um, the, the boy, uh, 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 she said some of the boys may come forward. I was like, ooh. Now, y'all know I told y'all how I felt about the Biggie Small situation. I told y'all this years ago, I don't bite my tongue on how I feel. I don't know it to be true, but the Spirit is telling me. You know, we're going to do a section of that on the show that the Spirit is telling me. The Spirit done told me. Because I had heard that him and what you call it, the, the, big, the Biggie Smalls was going to be motherfucking starting his own record label. 
So I just personally feel like, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of shit I felt back in the day. Yeah. I was like, shout out. And Maddie, not only that, they're saying that there might be an involvement with, with Kim Porter. No, no, with Tupac also. Well, with, of course I could see that. Cause they was rival people, but bitch, I people ain't nobody thinking that the children see the phone call always come from within when shit like that. You see, when the bitch fall out with you, it be the ones that be around you that be trying to motherfucker take you to the ground. Mm. It be the ones that's trying to take you. Be the ones right there in the circle, right around you, done fed. You done chill with, you done laughed and talked with all this type of stuff. You see them be the first ones with the blade to slit your fucking throat. So a motherfucker, when I see when I when I seen that, when when I I bitch, I'm old enough to know the day that Biggie Smalls had had, had, died. had died. Bitch. And the day that Tupac died. I was I was actually in the mall boosting. <laughs> I was. Bit, really? Man, they came over there. And they came over at uh, Dillard's. I was in the in Dillard's boosting. About to get caught for petty larceny that day. I was in Dillard's boosting. And the man had on his headphone, he had some walkie, he had a walkie, walkie talkie. Back as we used to call him a walkman. Bitch, that man fell out in the middle of the flow, bitch, in Dillard's. He said, oh, man, they killed Tupac. And just fell in the middle of the flow. And the people came over the damn announcement. And Dillard's girl was saying that Tupac Shakur was dead. And I was like, oh, my God. And I went to stuffing my motherfucking <laughs> shirts down in there. In that bag. I was in that bitch boosting. Mo, see, see how you understood what boosting? You ain't even from here. You from Africa. And you understand what boosting me? <laughs> Man, I had a bag. I was stuffing. Bitch, when, they, when that boy fell out of the floor, he caused commotion. I just was stuffing the bag. I said, he died. Oh, shit. I cleared a whole rack of them. Nautica shirts. Nautica shorts. Socks. Where were you putting all of this? Well, that's the time I was in between churches. I was dressed like a woman in the night and a man of the day. <laughs> so I had to be fly in the day and a hoe at night. <laughs> <laughs> boosting so I remember when he died I was in the mall I, I know exactly what I was doing that day cause the boy had on his walkman he pulled that one he said oh god they done killed Tupac and he just dropped on the floor I watched that man I watched that boy drop down on the floor <laughs> and I was like oh shit cause I actually thought he was security <laughs> cause I'm like why is this fucking boy keep following me why this boy keep, why this man keep walking around in a circle? Bitch. You know. Anyway, but I said then, I said, ooh, ooh, I said, ooh, did he got him? And then when Biggie died, I said, ooh, Biggie got them both. <laughs> That's what you said? Yes. What y'all saying about AIB sure? Oh, they say I'll be sure of fun unibrow ass, yeah. Girl. Anyway, you know. Anyway, I ain't got nothing to talk. I don't get deep into that shit because it ain't got nothing to do with me. That's some people's life. I just personally feel like whatever you do, again, everybody work and get paid. <clears throat> Sometimes it takes people paycheck to hit them longer than the other ones. But everybody that's working get paid. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody working getting paid. Well, you say Diddy was puffy back then? Yeah, because he was the, because the Sean John was in the store while I was snatching up that shit. I didn't go over there in the Sean John section. Oh, you did it? Hell no, I wasn't dressing like that. <laughs> I ain't want no slacks. Now, I did want a couple of those Sean John sweatsuits. They used to be cute. Uh, yeah, I ain't, yeah. You said Carisha gonna be after me? Shit, Carisha better be after her. Carisha better have her hand on the donut huh? <laughs> so she can get the fuck out. <laughs> She don't need to be after me. She had her hands on. She had those white tip nails on the door now. Bitch, when y'all go over there and y'all read the deposition and all that type of stuff, did you read some of it, Mo? Oh, the, the, you mean the complaint? That the she complaint. Yeah. I was like, I read, my. I went through the whole thing. I said, day. dear God, what is going on in here? 
Yeah, according to the complaint, she got kicked in the face. All of that. She had to grab big black dicks. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, Anthony Brown, thank you, baby. I was like, what in the entire fuck? She got to grab dicks too with white tip nails. Oh. She had to grab the major BBCs. And he and according to what she said, he was just there directing the whole thing. He take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that. Baby, I need Lil' Kim. I need Faith Evans. I need Mary J. Blige. I need them bitches to be on the front row telling the story. I need it. I don't need Mary J. Blige to sit over there and not say nothing. I need her to sing like a canary. I need her for the first time in her life to really sing. Tell us what happened. Yes. For the first time in Mary J. Blige's life, I need her to really sing. That's true. I think he did. I think he did make them sign NDAs. <clears throat> Mo, you signed the NDA too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I know. So far, with your real social. You said what? With your real social and address. No, that was that was somebody else. No, nah, baby, that was yours. That was somebody else. Believe you me, it was yours because uh, when you, well, you gonna have a problem with the Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> when I run that stuff over there, you gonna have to tell them what it was. Because I told them I paid you this. <laughs> Bitch. Child. But I seen that fucking psychic up there talking. You say, look, him told her, wait, wait, hold on. Who up? Somebody say, look, him told her story about an abortion. I heard her talk about she had an abortion from Big. Oh. Uh, she said Big told her to get an abortion. It might have been Diddy. Uh, according to what they say. I guess that might, I don't know. <laughs> I just see what that psychic was saying. I was looking at what the psychic lady said. I was like, oh, okay. Again, the shit, it was insane that the woman said that Kim told her it was going to happen in November. Y'all remember the movie Ghosts with Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze and Whoopi yeah, Goldberg? Yeah, yeah. You remember at the end when the when the glass fell down and stabbed the bad man in the chest? Sam, Sam, not Sam, what his name was? I forget his name. It stabbed him in the chest and he got up and he looked. He was able to see everything. And then the black shadows came and got <laughs> You know that when you cross over and you done did a bitch wrong that you, you done call, you call, that was his name, car. The motherfucker be standing right there with their arms folded looking like, yes, bitch. Come on. No, we ain't gonna come because that's what happened with Princess Diana. When the Queen Elizabeth died, I know Princess Diana was standing there with her arms folded waiting on them black things to come get that bitch. <laughs> Diana was standing there saying, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm watching the crown tonight. I'm going, I'm going back watching the crown. Actually, what, I don't want to make you go watch that. Mo, I like the crown to show the crown, but I actually don't want to see the crown tonight. I actually want to go see the hunger game. It was already out. Yes. It came out November the 17th. I'm very excited to see the hunger games. I wanted to see it while I was in Philly, but we, I, we was resting. But the crown, I know Diana was standing there with her arms folded. Saying, hold my motherfucking earrings, Peter. Because I'm finna walk this bitch like you did on that water. <laughs> Before them black shits come and get this bitch, I'm finna walk this bitch. That's why I be whispering in my son's ear to fuck y'all whole family up down here. That's why I'm whispering in my son's ear. I be down there telling him, fuck these hoes up. Go marry your black chick, bitch. Go marry that black ass mixed ass bitch and, and abdicate from the from the from the family. She whispers in her son ear all the time, whispering. 
and she done told Megan, girl, get you a sword. Keep you a double-bladed sword in there for them bitches try to fuck you up. And don't you let nobody drive you nowhere. And every time you get in the car, have them niggas check for bombs and brake fluids. <laughs> Uh, I know Princess Diana had her motherfucking arms folded by the time the, the queen got there and say, Peter, you remember how you walked on water? I'm finna walk this bitch like a dog. That's right. Here comes the hurricane, bitch. Here comes the hurricane, bitch. Here comes the hurricane, bitch. Diana, 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 Diana. Here comes the hurricane, bitch. Hurricane Diana. Uh, all right, let's move on. I ain't staying on that Diddy shit. I'm just going to watch it like y'all. You know, I'm not overly invested yeah. in all that shit. I could give a fuck what's going on in them people's life like that, bitch. I got bills to pay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what they doing. They done did what they did. I'm doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about this right here, though, Mo. This right here? No, this. The, 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 yes. Let's talk about this. How old the boy was? Five. Five. Five-year-old boy fatally stabbed by twin brother during an argument between the two, according to reports. I want to know what the two, what the fuck was two five-year-old twin arguing about? I don't know. Who changed the channel on the motherfucking Coca Melon? <laughs> you gonna tell me that the, the Pete Teletubby ain't no damn gay? <laughs> the Pete Teletubby gay? He not. He is. He not. He is. Uh. <laughs> so what in that, the fuck was they fighting about like this? What's that fruit snack? Fruit snacks, Bijan. I mean, the fruit snacks is something that you have to nigga, get, get your hands on my fruit snacks. <laughs> did he stab him with a butter knife? Is the boy dead? Where did he get? Where? How did he get the knife? Was how, like was it somewhere where it had to have been somewhere where he can get like accessible? Girl, Tara Tara Brace said, "Coca felon." <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, God, no, no, God, no, they're not finna drag me into this. God, there's two five year olds, no, God. Well, technically, it's a one five year old. <laughs> oh, God, no, God, I'm not doing this. God, forgive me, God. I, can you just forgive me, God? Because I need about two minutes of this. So it said, Cain and Abel. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. Mo, they can't be messy like this. Oh my God. Why is y'all, why is they messy Mo like this? We can't even have no serious conversation. Girl, oh my God. Did <laughs> okay. they say Cain and Abel for real? <laughs> so it said Cain and Abel. So it said, okay, my fault, y'all. I apologize. It was a little dark humor. It was a little dark humor. <sighs> oh. Girl, somebody said, what about the children whip? Just a child now. Oh, God. <laughs> see, this is why they be doing this, Mo. This is why, see, the kids grow up to be grown messy bitches like us. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what was the, that coca felon? I can't. <laughs> So it said Mufasa is scar. <laughs> Long live the king. Girl! <laughs> See you, girl. Y'all over there worried about your children just being fagots and stuff like that. <laughs> and they grow, they, they, they even grow up, they kill us. They kill us already. <laughs> you worried about your children being fagots? You gotta you gotta not let them watch that shit on fucking TV. Because what would make him think to go get a knife? You couldn't bust him in the head with a Tonka truck. <laughs> so say not, not two is no more. more. God, I can feel your lashes on my back. <laughs> God, I can feel your lashes coming down on my back. I can't no. <gasps>
let them do this. Yeah. <laughs> we have to leave this, bro. Okay. We cannot let them do this okay. because it's them doing this. <laughs> We uh, we cannot let them do this, bro. Uh, we have to go. <laughs> I really do want to indulge with them with this. This is what is tempting me to do this, but we have to go. Oh my God! They said Alexa play Child's Play. Oh my God! Someone said Alexa play to become one by Spice Girls. <laughs> Oh. Mm. <laughs> I don't know nothing about algebra, <laughs> but I know that one out of one equals two. <laughs> oh, I got no more. No. <laughs> No, y'all did not put that there. Unless now we started back at one. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! But we gotta go to something else. Okay, let's go. Because I will go. indulge in this more. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one. Oh my god! But we were bro. talking about celebrity uh, oh my relationships. God, this, oh, this is terrible. Well, oh, this is terrible. Y'all are terrible. Y'all need to be stopped. <laughs> not Uno. Oh my God. Y'all don't have no remorse for the children. What about the child? Well, what about the child? <laughs> I too have a gift to bestow upon the child. Girl. That's what it said. Family feud. Not baby shank. Baby <laughs> shank doo doo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Not baby shank. Yeah. Well, we got. I can't look at it no more. This we just got to put the thing up there. Not oh, baby look shade. At this, look at this man. Oh, did they say baby shade? No, but look at this one. What? Right here. Look at Alexa. Play saw the pepper push it. Oh God. <laughs> God needs to come down here and touch y'all. See, this was going on. With, <laughs> this is what's going on with us as a society right now. Uh, oh. This is what's going on in the society right now. <laughs> they took us on the twist and said, let me take a stab at it, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Y'all in this dark humor. I'm not fit <laughs> to let y'all do this. Not baby shame. That's what I can't take. Not thug rats. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, though. I can't lie. Congrats. Oh. Okay, we have to go now. I don't let y'all do y'all messy. We have to go. Matter of fact, I want to go back to this since we in the since we in the realm of Alexa play. Mo, put that shit up where we left our with the other day because we didn't get a chance to finish that. Oh, okay. You deleted it. It was a scenario because the people said, "Uh-uh, master, we got to come back and talk about that." Oh yeah, I remember the scenario. Hold on. Right there, go up, right, go over, go over, right there. That's it, right there. So, oh, wait, please delete that one about the kid. I can't no more. I gotta delete that. That's I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, bro. It's wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. But I just, I just had questions. <laughs> we got to go back to this, and then we're gonna move on. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Well, one day we will discuss. <sighs> How creepy and fetishy it is that black women actually buy not the Hunger Games. Stop it! So it's in Felonious Twins. No! Felonious Twins! <laughs> oh my God, Jesus Christ. Wonder Twin powers activate! Oh my God. <laughs> not not backstabbers! Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> Damn, he say I ain't no killer, but don't push me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
I like to play. I'm not my brother's jeeper. <laughs> All right. One day we'll discuss how creepy and fetishy it is that black women actually buy the real hair of Asian women and wear it on our heads. If other races sold, not Esau and Jacob. No! <laughs> if other races sold our 4C hair and wore it every day, would it be considered racist or borderline weird? So how is this normalized? All right, black women, let's talk about it. Because I'm definitely going to wear the motherfucking goddamn... Me I'm wearing Ming Lee hair all fucking day. I don't give a fuck what you... Let Ming Lee grow her hair and let me bump it. <laughs> you let me... So you let me so young grow her motherfucking hair and let me bump the ears of that bitch. That's the way I feel. Oh, my God. Tasha <laughs> say, I don't buy Asian hair, I buy Brazilian. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't give a damn what y'all say. Let motherfucking Sui Young and Ming Lee motherfucking goddamn and Kim Sui let her <laughs> buy and, 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 and somebody has said thanks wing. <laughs> thanks win. Let wing grow her hair and let me bump the bitch. Uh. Somebody said Singapore realness. My God, Bree. <laughs> let me let us do that in peace, bitch. Oh. Where else we gonna just somebody said weave that's trying to say weave us weave alone. Us alone. <laughs> you say you get Brazilian? Okay, shit. I'm I like Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian. That's Asian, right? Malaysian. Asian, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's Peruvian. Asian. Asian. Peruvian. I, I think that's Middle Eastern, so I, I would say Asian. Also. First of all, let's talk about them selling us they hair. Not just us buying it. Let's talk about them selling us they hair. Now, I ain't finna sit up here in front of you more. I'm not buying no, I ain't buying two packs of your hair. I just ain't doing What's it. What's wrong with my Because we, we got the same kind. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, give me that exotic. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if that shit came from Ethiopia, bitch. <laughs> give me that exotic. Oh, now, Ethiopians have nice hair, though. They do, but they ain't got Sui Lin hair. <laughs> they ain't got Sui Young. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Sandra Brown said black <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Oh God, Sandra. Oh, no, no. oh God, Sandra. Where, where? Why, why did you say that, Sandra? Black ball, ball holes will buy any wig. <laughs> oh, Sandra, no. Okay. So Peruvian is Latin America. So that's part of Brazil. Oh, so that's Brazilian. Yeah. Okay. Mongolian Kiki. <laughs> um, that's right. Peruvian, Malaysian, Bohemian, and Asian, whatever your persuasion, make sure you wear it right. That's a line from one of my songs called New Weave 22 Inches. I wrote that line. Bohemian or uh, Bohemian or Asian, Bohemian, Malaysian, whatever your persuasion. Something I said, make sure you wear it. I wrote that song. I wrote that. Michelle White said, wear it all. Where all the Asian spirits are. Yeah, I don't think they got no spirits. Honey. How do you know, man? They ain't got no spirit. How do you know? How sure are you? How sure are you? <laughs> are you telling me something? I you don't said know? confident, confident, dry and secure. <laughs> raise your hand, raise your hand if you're sure. So are you sure because you you indulge? In I don't indulge in none of this stuff. I don't. <laughs> I don't indulge. Then how do you know if you don't indulge? No, they all they got is dragons. <laughs> All they got is fucking dragon. <laughs> now, if you hoes put on that damn, if you hoes put them hoes hat on and start breathing fire, then I'll be like, okay. <laughs> they put bundles by Baghdad. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh my goodness. See how you got me messing my contacts over here acting crazy. Hold I'm on. Sorry, I'll pop. It's all right, bro, because it's going to come out either way. It's time. <laughs> That's that Mariah curse on me. <laughs> oh, my God. It might be why some of y'all re be ready to fight. That uh, <laughs> that tiger hidden dragon spirit look, look being. How, look how McCutcheon came out. 
Can you I can't this. put it out. You can't put it back in. Though. No, it's dirty. <laughs> I can't even see the damn comments over there. See, this is what I get. <laughs> That's that brother coming here. That little baby foot. That other five year old. Oh. That bitch. I'm gonna start you. You talking about me? Got style. Heck on your eye, bitch. An eye for an eye. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even see what they say. <sighs> Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, oh god. Y'all is a mess. Let me put my cut tech in. Hold on. You got where you got that means you gotta go all the way upstairs. I'm gonna get one. It's gonna be quick. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna see what they say down there. But they're not gonna get me turned up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear lord, dear lord. And it was her left eye too. You right. Oh my goodness. It just it just it just came upon my heart. Okay, okay. Y'all know I'm gonna come to keep y'all company until she get back here. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Wait, hold on. Here we go. Um, what's good? What's good, everybody? I know everybody ready for y'all started with the bite me. I'm I'm going to put that on some shirts. I'm going to put that on some shirts. Y'all just gotta y'all just gotta make sure y'all support when I bring out the uh, con the uh, the product the product. You know I had to put on my glasses. I can't see without them, and I don't really do I don't really do contacts. The only time I did contacts was for the Halloween stuff. My fangs ah uh, they they not they not in right now. You know, special occasions they come out. A vampire song. Y'all being messy. Y'all being messy right now. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Really, you really thought I was Craig. Strawberry Tiger, you really thought I thought I was Craig this whole time. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Mess. Nothing, nothing. They just—I'm just reading the comments. I'm just reading. Y'all hoes is messy. Y'all messy ass bitches made my motherfucking content. Thank you, thank you, y'all for the skin compliments. You know. <sighs> y'all messy ass hoes made my content fall. I'm gonna take communion. <laughs> I need some grape juice. I'm gonna take communion. I need some grape juice. You need the blood. The blood. <laughs> I'm finna take communion mode. Because they they don't went and did some terrible things. <laughs> they just said some terrible things about that little boy at the fire, yo. I gotta take communion. <laughs> Please, Mo, do you got any crackers down here? <laughs> no, I don't have I don't have the body. I don't have the body down here with me. You ain't got the well, I'm finna drink the blood. <laughs> I'm about to take communion on y'all. I ain't fucking with y'all. Oh. I'm doing communion right now. <laughs> Where's the body? Uh, the body? I don't we, have the body. We really. got the body. We gotta go. Well, get let the me body. just drink the blood, honey. <laughs> <laughs> they say you need a biscuit or something. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Y'all hoes make my motherfucking contact come by my eye. Fucking with y'all. <laughs> I had to go. Do, I gotta do communion. Hmm. Ooh, that was too funny. Uh, oh. Let me keep this over here just in case I gotta take some more of the blood. Because <laughs> this bitch is so, your bitch is so messy. Oh my gosh. It don't make no sense how messy y'all is, girl. Oh, Lord. Okay, so let's go on from the hair. We had I had to get them off of that. that but they made my content fall out. Talk about that little baby. <laughs> What's this with this lady? Who is that? Wait, 
year? Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. There we go. Girl, let's talk about it. All right. Bitch, I want to talk about this. What you got to say about it, man? So, Krishan did bust James in his face. Huh? Krishan did bust James in his face. We're going to talk about this. We're going to go all the way back. Oh, okay. okay. Bitch, I seen James' face. I'm just waiting on him to come forward and just, you know, I seen his face. I seen his teeth. I seen his lip. I seen it with my eyes. Me. Ain't nobody got a motherfucker tell me. I called my sister, bitch, you know. So I seen this, right? So all that other talk about she ain't losing. We ain't seen it. I seen it with my fucking eyes. No, I was not there, but I seen his motherfucking face was bust, bust and batter. And teeth chipped. I seen this with my with my eyes. I'm just letting him do make, move his move how he want to move. You know what I'm saying? In whatever way he gonna move, and um, and however he gonna move. I Facetime him because I was calling him, calling, 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 and he finally answered. And bitch, I seen it. So <clears throat> with all of that shit going on, she do need to be in jail. With all of that shit going on, um, Tamar was, you know, came out. She said her little statement, her little piece. And then this girl, Tommy, you know, I ain't really fond of her though. I ain't, I don't know her. Let me, let me, let me, let me get my words correctly. I don't know her. I don't like a lot of shit that she done came out her mouth. So I don't know her to dislike her. So I'm not even going to fall into that realm of, I don't like her because I don't know her. I don't like her characteristics and her care, and she don't like trannies. I done heard her. Oh, really? Yeah, I done heard her say things about trannies. That she she like she's okay with gay boys, you know. She's all right with faggots. It's the trannies that she got a she got a lot a little issue with because I seen a tape of her talking about the trannies. Like I seen a video of her talking about that. I don't know if she was in a drunken stupor or whatever the fuck she was. You know, I don't know. But I'm talking about Tommy. But the fags love supporting. And, you know, I was a victim of doing that kind of shit, too. So it is what it is. And, you know, we, we, we live and we learn. But fags love support the girls that, you know, that's okay with the butch queens. But she she loves the butch queens, but she don't like the trannies. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, and then you got to ask yourself why. What's the, what's the problem? But anyway, uh, so she made this. That she made it. Tamar had made a little read on her and then she came back and was out with Tamar ex nigga figuratively speaking speaking her ex nigga and she you know she think that's cute I want to say this any bitch that's picking up my trash Any bitch that's picking up my trash or eating the leftover scraps off of my motherfucking plate ain't a bad bitch. That's how I feel about it. Any bitch that's raking up and scraping off a plate that I ate off of, scraping for crumbs from what I done ate off of, you ain't that you ain't flexing off of me. It's not a flex, bitch. So that's nothing. Any hoe that follow in those antics like that, that's not a flex. Bitch, you scraping off a plate that I already motherfucking done picked over, done, done got all the good pieces of, and it's still laying there waiting on somebody to eat it. But bitch, if you better than me, you supposed to have a plate, bitch, that ain't been touched. It's not a flex. It's not a flex, bitch. Eat up. Because I know what it's going to do to your digestive system. You're going to have diarrhea, bitch. Eat up. That's right. Call the whole like that waste management. <laughs> Call that bitch the quicker picker upper. That's some shit I pulled out that you over there picking up and you thinking you doing it. That's not a flex. 
That's not a flex, bitch. Now let's talk about him. I tell y'all this all the time. Even the ones that lay up in the motherfucking bed with you, bitch. See, I don't expect nothing. I don't expect no less of a man. I don't. Two places a nigga gonna go when he motherfucking, when a nigga trying to get some get back at you. He gonna fuck your friend. Uh, he damn sure going after your enemy. So all those hoes you laid up in the bed with and you talk trash about, bitch, or you felt some type of way about them pussy-ass motherfucking hoes, believe you me, the nigga that you laying there talking about that with is going to try to jump, going to try to bungee jump off in one of them hoes. The bitch you can't stand. He going to try to cartwheel, backflip, and bungee jump off in one of them pussy-ass hoes. And the bitch that's your best friend, he got his eye on that hoe too. Why? Because bitch, that's a that's a version of you that he ain't got. So ladies, I tell y'all this all the fucking time. Put more energy in yourself than in a nigga. Put more love in yourself than in a nigga. And as a woman, you should be teaching your sons how not to be a nigga like that. How not to be a nigga like that. If you tired of the way niggas is in the world, instilling in your son not to be no dirty ass nigga like that. All my life I done, I done seen it with my eyes, bitch. I don't expect nothing less. Expect nothing less for from a man to do no shit like that. Nothing less. Now I don't want y'all to get it twisted, and, like I'm sitting up here, like I hate and bash men. Cause bitch, I loves me some dick. I loves dick. I loves men. I loves the company of a man. But I also know where the cutoff at, where the cutoff points is. Cause I already know what in the fuck, how the fuck, and what the blood clot. I already know. What's disappointing is that, you know, he do something like that or even be seen with a hoe. You don't act like that you don't be on the internet seeing what these pussy ass hoes be saying about a bitch. If you had any love or any fucking, any fucking reverence or any type of, of meaning in the relationship for the relationship or, or, or some type of coof from what we had, you wouldn't even be seen with no shit like that. Because let me tell you how, let me tell you. Women's is built different. Some women's built like niggas. Cause I'm I'm bitch. I got both in me. Cause nigga, you play whole scroll games with me. I fuck your nigga, your homeboy. You play whole scroll games with me. That nigga that was shooting at you will be eating my ass, bitch. Play whole scroll games if you want with me. Play pussy petticoat junction whole scroll games with me if you want to, nigga. Cause I listen to the motherfucking niggas that you hate. That you you pouring in my ear that you hate too. I just have more coof about myself not to do that type of shit. But bitch, play pussy, get fucked. If you wanna. You hit that Scorpio side of me, bitch, you's a done deal. Oh, that dark Libra, it's a done deal. Bitch, every nigga that shot at you, bitch, I'm gonna be riding their dicks, bitch. First off, fuck the click and the bitch you... Take money. I'm going to do a Tupac on you, a Tupac Biggie and Faith Evans. Because I still think that Faith Evans got long dick from the side. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never knew, never knew. Never had someone to show me love. Love like this before, now that we have come to be a 
brand new life I can't see. Never thought you'd be a special part of me. No, baby. Come on, Mo. Yeah. If we can work together, baby, this will last forever. This is something that I want to hold on to. No, no, I don't want to say, understand, I'll be crazy if you Cause you compliment my style. You compliment my style. I like the way you walk and the sexy way, way you talk. You Don't just know what, what you, you do to me. Whoa, never, never. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. Bitch, you can play with it if you want to. Now, as a dog ass nigga, I don't expect anything. I don't expect for a motherfucker to have any type of uh uh coof about themselves with that shit. It's just disappointing that you out here with this drunken whore doing this shit because you know you just seen this bitch online carrying on, reading, getting, 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 getting back and forth. Because see, this, let me tell you how, let me tell you how pussy assholes work. And I don't know Tommy to be a pussy asshole. I don't know her. I don't know anything about her. I just see her. I've, there was a few things that she done said. I was like, mm, I, you know, but I don't know her to dislike her. I, it's, the, it's the antics, her characteristics and things that she said has made me have a small bit of a disdain for the things that she has said. You know, I don't know if she means it. I don't know her to dislike her. So I just want to make that disclaimer before I go in and say this. Now, I done made the disclaimer. Here I go. As a woman, mm -hmm. you knew what you was doing when, you know, when you went over there and whatever, however the fuck the shit came on. As a nigga, he knew what he was motherfucking doing. You know, but it just goes to show you how girls really view you. First of all, Tamar Braxton is a Braxton. B-R-A-X-T-O-N. Bitch, she is from the legendary house of Tony Braxton. Bitch, she's from the legendary house of Braxton. The legendary house of Tony Braxton. The living legend Tony Braxton. Yes, Tony Braxton may have faced bankruptcy charges maybe once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Who knows? Who knows? But bitch, Tommy, you are not on a Braxton level. You are not on a Braxton level. So what men got to realize is that you only flavorful because this bitch done sucked on you already. And left her taste, her scent, her flavor on you. Anytime I see hoes make these types of moves, bitch, any fucking time. I see these hoes makes these types of moves, bitch. I'm flattered. I'm flattered that you want to taste my ass, bitch. You want to taste my motherfucking nuts. Bitch, you want to taste my titties, hoe. I'm flattered that if you feel that you could touch the hem of my garment, bitch, you might be made whole. But you never will be. You just want to touch the hem of it. And that's why I tell any man, puss ass nigga, bitch, I'm an upgrade for you. Whether you fucking a cunt or a damn transvestite, bitch, I'm an upgrade for you, nigga. And know that them hoes want to be here with you because I was there. Wasn't he on the wasn't he on the show that uh, yeah. Tamar was on? Mm-hmm. The Queen's Court. Yeah, the Queen's Court. Yes. I don't know. For some Let reason. Let me drink always, some more. I gotta commune some more with the Lord. <laughs> I need some more to blow. I always thought he, he was all about cloud for me. You he thought was, he was about cloud? Yeah, for some reason. He just gave me that. I don't know. I've only had dinner with, with him and Tamar once in New York. 
I only hung out with him once. He was nice to me. I don't, you know, I don't know him. So just like I don't know Tommy, I'm just talking about the situation. So I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Yeah, I'm just saying like the the energy I I, I was getting from Hey, you know, it happens. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we as people get caught up into people who have ulterior motives. We love people that have ulterior motives. You done did it, Mo. I done did it. We all have we're all a vic we all play have been victims to people who have ulterior motives. But in the words of Tyra Banks, learn something from this. <laughs> we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. All right, let's go, Mo. Because we got but a few more minutes before I got to go to this meeting. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, we're going to go here. This is another one. What is it? Woman arrested after running. Girl, girl, <laughs> girl, 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 <laughs> Mo, girl, 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 girl. Where the fuck was you going, girl? Girl. Where were you not? It did. It would have been real crazy had that motherfucking G force sucked her ass in that motherfucking in that propeller and wore her out. Her family would have been over there trying to sue the airline. She'd have got sucked in by that G force or that fucking motor. Who said Alexa play bag lady? Right, girl. Where were you going to jail? <laughs> she said she missed her flight. And so she was trying to she was trying to flag down the plane to stop so she could get on. Right. <laughs> so you mean so she just thought she was so privileged enough to bust through the doors. <laughs> oh. To bust through the doors over there after the gate agent done closed the door. So when you tell me that the door I was, you didn't hear the door screaming, ah! Have you ever seen the gate agent open the door and they were supposed to be opening the shit there screaming? Yeah. Ah! So you act like you didn't hear any of that. <laughs> and you ran all the way down. Oh my God. All the way down to the tarmac. <laughs> you do know that those things be lifted up to the place. So did you leap down? <laughs> I guess so. Because I'm curious how she got down there myself. I'm curious how she got down there myself. <laughs> Someone said, I believe I can fly. Right! <laughs> Final destination. <laughs> so did you leap down and run out there and the pilot looked down like, girl, wait a minute, what's going on out here? You better be glad that pilot looked in his rear in his motherfucking rear mirror. Because, bitch, you was going to be minced meat. Because the, the G-force of that jet engine <laughs> sucked you right bitch. in. Bitch! Let me see the picture more. Okay. If you look closely, she's right there where the wheel is. Girl! Girl! <laughs> Girl! <laughs> First of all, why were you missing your flight? First of all, why do you think that you could get that? Jameson, listen to me, girl. <laughs> Jameson Bennett. Jameson. You have to understand, you have to get to the hours two hours before. You have to get to the airport, especially at Atlanta airport. Any of these airports, well, these niggas working at the TSA, you have to get to the airport two hours before. Oh, my God. Why, why you do Jameson like that? Though? Because you know what we go through with Jameson. <laughs> no, oh my God, what happened? What, no. <laughs> no, what happened was I had a flat tire. <laughs> I had a flat tire. No, what happened? No, see, the traffic was really crazy. Nah. Nah. See, I have to tell Jameson that I got something going on at least four hours ahead so he could be an hour late.
<laughs> yes, Jameson, this definitely works off of colored people time. <laughs> well, you did say he is colored. No, he's not. He's adjacent. vanilla bean. He's adjacent. He's adjacent. <laughs> and what makes him more and more adjacent is this, his time, <laughs> his time management. Girl, I already be feeling some kind of way. Girl, what you running down the tarmac? Girl, I would have to figure they stopped the damn plane. <laughs> and you had to be at work the next day? And I had to be to work, not just to work. But see, that's why I do. I'm very, this is the way I work. I'm very, if I got an event, I'm very much so. I'm in the city the, 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 day, the day before. before. Yep, that's true. Never do the same. I day. don't do the same date. Never I don't do same. same day bookings. I don't do that. It's the day before. Anything could happen. Like that. I'm very efficient when it comes down to stuff like that. Now, one thing I didn't grow into because I wasn't like that before, but I definitely grew into that. Like grew into it. Grew into it. Because, honey, let me tell you something. Bitch. I was definitely a Jameson submitted. <laughs> Not a lazy play paper plays. Ain't nobody gonna that swag I like it. <laughs> All I wanna do is pop, 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 pop. And I, <laughs> I would have been pissed off, Mo. If she is, if that woman, I'd have been pissed plate. off. Cause first of all, we gotta wait for the motherfucking police to get there, cause they're gonna lock her up. We gotta wait for them to leave. Then we got to get back in line, cause they done moved us out of line from taking off. That's true. That's true. It's just so much that them been threw off. You know they don't turn the air conditioner on the plane on until the bitch re- okay. actually fly, <laughs> right? You be on that bitch burning up sometime. <laughs> I fly every other damn day. Oh, that shit would have pissed me off. I could imagine. I see it. Especially if they allowed her on the plane. I just see you cussing her out, right? Bitch! <laughs> Stupid ass. I only want to fly. Give me another plane. <laughs> Bitch, don't come on here with these bad omens on here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Her whole spirit negative. Let me get another flight. Yeah, this is my spirit off. It ain't it. <laughs> shit. What ally was it? Was it Delta? Oh no! And they didn't put they didn't put the uh, hold on. Let me check. Yeah, you can't even see the airline. They made sure not to show the airline. I guess. Yeah, because they don't want the airline being responsible for her getting locked up. <laughs> you know, because the people would be like, "Y'all could have let her on that plane. <laughs> Y'all, she had nothing to carry on. Carry your ass on down to the next motherfucking gate, bitch, and get on another plane. <sighs> she had nothing to carry on. Let her on." And people, and a lot of people out there. I know there were people out there that would you wouldn't sit there saying that too, like, niggas, <laughs> niggas, and Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, uh, no way. Because see, what happened was my sister. No, nope. <laughs> gone off around me with that shit. Let's, what's the last thing we got about? I, I can do two minutes. Okay. Uh, next we have. I'm just gonna go straight up in the line. Here we go. A Mary school employee caught having endless amount of sex with 11 year old boy right in her car in front of school. Just blowing that boy man. <laughs> just giving that boy all types of whole stroll fantasies right there. The boy already been online jacking off to this shit on Twitter. Uh-huh. And you been get your big grown motherfucking ass on the left. What in the fucking eleven year old dick? That motherfucking eleven year old dick must be as big as this damn thing right here. <laughs> Cause what in the fuck is eleven year old dick gonna do for that big grown ass soggy pussy? Uh-huh. You nasty motherfucking hoe. Yeah, I don't get. It. All I well, listen. This is what I want her to do. I'm. A, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna sentence her too. And th- y'all gonna. Y'all ain't gonna like this. What I'm gonna say. I sentence her to boost his whole family bloodline. <laughs> Wait, what's that supposed to do? Send that bitch over there, let all boost his nephews, <laughs> son. 
she shouldn't be enjoying her punishment. She though. may not enjoy because after them be real long dick nigga come through there and knock a hole in that bitch, she's gonna be trying to escape. <laughs> <laughs> I said to something around there to boost them house. <laughs> <laughs> that that bitch raised booster churn <laughs> and grandchildren. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and children's children. <laughs> I sentenced that bitch over there to the booster. So basically, you say it for life. For life to the booster camp. <laughs> if she want to fuck eleven year old boys, bitch, <laughs> take it right, take her right there to booster. He'll have them. The booster camp. The booster camp. <laughs> he won't get that bitch a dime, but she'll be sucking dick from the time them boys turn four. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Southern Breeze. It said endless. Endless. She will be having endless sex. <laughs> Tie that bitch up to the motherfucking studio <laughs> and bring the boy down there. Hey boy, you you about to be eight. Let me take you down here. Maddie, so I think some people got some uh, some uh, other ones. Look, right here. Right up in here. Lock her up with Diddy. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Who else? Lock her up with R. Kelly. Pee on her. Who else? Lock her ass up. Bill? But, but who? Bill? Cosby? It, it don't work no more. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's she wants endless amount. His, his sex life has ended. <laughs> That's right. Where are the fucking drag queens? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it does. They say bring around Boosie. He'll ring a right. <laughs> That's my judgment. <sighs> Sit around there to boost Camp Boosie. That's true. The predators do not seem to be coming. Send him from. round there. Send that bitch round there to Camp Boosie. He got use for. Her. She a white hoe too, bitch. She already eating everything. The Boosie estate. The Boosie estate. <laughs> Tie that bitch down there by the record studio. <laughs> As they walking in and As out. As they coming in. How old you is, boy? You 12? <laughs> boy, how old you is? You 14? <laughs> boy, how old you want to become a man, boy? <laughs> Go on there. You know you ain't. You know when you dick when you're young, cause I got a dick. You got a dick too, Mo. You know how when you're young and you over there stroking, you find out you got a dick and you are stroking that bitch until it don't nothing come out. <laughs> don't play. Before you came, you was playing with that motherfucker until nothing was coming out. But you had a you had a sensation, but nothing came out. So we gonna sit her around there with them little lemon yo, twelve yo. Then they gonna fuck her till nothing oh, comes out. That's endless. Endless. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to Boy Scouts. Oh, oh. endless! Oh dear Lord! <laughs> Don't get that bitch nothing but water <laughs> and half a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't she need something for like to give her energy? Water and half a cracker, <laughs> and sprinkle a little salt on the cracker, bitch, so it'll be a salty half a salty <laughs> cracker. Yeah, so her ass hole could be open and her pussy could be open, <laughs> and they can run through her. To maybe, run. We, maybe we should switch the salt for sugar because you know salt make you dry out. Whatever boosts give her, let him run through her. <laughs> and then when she good and tired, let the grown big dick niggas come to there and wo- and bust her wide open. <laughs> let them water and honey packet. Let them let the grown big dick niggas come through there and bust her open. Oh, dear Jesus. I'm gone, y'all. I gotta go to my meeting. I hit y'all back. I'll let what, more you raise it tomorrow. I'm oh, you got to do pay for your say? Uh, not not pay for your say, but um, you got a moving job. I got to deliver some uh, babies. No, some I got to deliver some furniture, helping a friend deliver. Oh, you got to deliver some babies. I, I didn't say, say babies. I'm not delivering no babies. You deliver no babies. I'm not delivering no babies. You sure? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's not allegedly. It's true. Right. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Well, you know they was online asking me where you were there the other day. I told them you was in Africa visiting your Why do you be telling people that? Well, so you ain't been to Africa recently? No, I have not been to Africa recently. <laughs> the last time I went to Africa was like maybe like three or four years ago. To see your kids. I don't have no kids in Africa. I told you where my kids are. Where they at on the floor? Or the toilet. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Your key is it, Mo. <laughs> I told you. I told you where she. I told you where they at. Where your key is at, nigga. The, the floor or the toilet. Mm -hmm. Either one of those. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> where are the stones in me? <laughs> Where are the stones? What? Where are the stones? In me. You know, okay. But that was your cheer. All right, y'all. Let me start my mean. I'm already on here. Hey, y'all. All right, I'll talk with y'all later on, bagger. Can y'all hear me? Hey, everybody. This is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, -on -one exclusive content, behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there, me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash TS Madison Hinton. And you'll be glad you did. I promise. This has been a TS Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash TS Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here, beat me here. Ciao. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye.